yeah, there there is a weighted system. I'll show you here. Uh, and thank you for stopping by. Uh, by the way, it's Mr. Loud. I like that name. All right. Uh, let's see. So you have the the weight down here, and there's a couple skill points you can invest here, uh, carry capacity. But uh, initially, it's about half of 96, I think. And there is also a storage system. If you're interested in this game, let me just run back and I'll show you. Uh, I discovered a, a safe house here, so I can show you a couple of the other storage systems. Every safe house has uh, plunder, and that's like uh, that's your universal storage box. It's at every where the heck is this thing? Oh, just further down. It's at every safe house. Every safe house has a plunder. Now, not every safe house has a crafting station. The crafting station is the only place you can drop crafting resources. Notice I have this equipment here, but there's another icon type that you won't see here, but you should see here. Yep, crafting resources. Now, uh, just about anything, maybe anything. Yeah, I think even ammo, all of these things can be broken down into components at the recycling station. So like right now I have all these things on me uh, and I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I didn't even realize how uh, full up I was. So I need to drop some stuff off real quick and then I'll hop over to the, to the recycling station. Oh, you know, I'll save uh, these two here to just break down now. A lot of times I just dump, dump stuff in here. Uh, as I said, not uh, every safe house has uh, the plunder or the storage box, so a lot of times I'm just dumping stuff in there, and then every once in a while I'll pull things out to, to break down. But here's the, uh, the recycling station. And so I'll go in here and see... I already have a uh, better one of these. Here it'll tell you what components you're gonna get. Here's the minimum of the item, like the, the number of the item that you need to recycle it. For weapons and attachments, you only ever need one. And when you're breaking things down, the the resources that you get from it automatically go into your uh, your weight here. Oh, I forgot to show you that at the plundra. The plundra also has limited weight like your character, and so does the uh, crafting, but they're all separate. So you've got, uh, and this is upgradable now too. Oh, sweet. Uh, I got some more aluminum somewhere. All right, so now 300 kilograms of storage there. So just in the recent update, they introduced the ability to upgrade these, uh, these containers. But I'll show you uh, something else here that's uh, noteworthy. Uh, on some items, mostly ammo, I guess, ammo and, what is this, equipment? Yeah, ammo and equipment, you'll need a minimum amount of that particular resource to break it down. And when you do that, it's going to consume that many. And you can do many at once, like this requires five. So uh, I can recycle ten at once, or I can recycle five at once, see? But I can't do just one or, or seven. Um, it's in increments of five. Yeah, that's uh Oh! I pressed escape. I thought I did. Oh wait, that, I think that was for the things that I did break down. For a moment there, I thought I broke down my, my stickies. I hope not. Yeah, I still have my stickies. Okay. Uh, that was just a summary at the end of what we broke down. And there's other crafting, too. Here's the uh, apparel station and... There's also a, a crafting station where you'll craft ammo and equipment like meds.
But that's uh, yeah, that's that's your intro to uh, to storage in Generation Zero. Pretty cool, especially with the the last update, the uh, uh, landfall update. I think it's called. That's when they introduced the expansion uh, expansion ability.